people welcome back to my channel and if you're new here welcome to my channel make sure that you're subscribed so that you can join all the fun so it's the first week of October which means it's officially Halloween month October officially means the start of the holidays which is so exciting and the festivities are about to begin and everything is just about to be a lot better. So in order to kick off the start of the holidays and of course to help celebrate October, I wanted to do this video. So today's video is all about easy and just really stress-free costume ideas that us curvy ladies can use. And this means using things straight out of your closet that you already have and It'll be easy. Halloween is not supposed to be stressful. It's supposed to be fun and festive and just something that is really enjoyable. So hopefully this video helps you all in creating an easy and stress-free Halloween costume. So without further ado, let's just get right on into it. So for this first look, I wanted to create a costume that is all about rock and roll. By using simple black pieces that I already had in my closet, I found it very easy to create this look. Black is a color that most people have and it's really not hard to find this time of year. So by using what you already have and by going out and buying some things that you may have missing to create this look, you'll definitely be able to create this look very easily. We all know that black is a very slimming color so that it will make our curves look bomb and who doesn't want that? By playing up your hair and makeup and really making it fit this character, you can definitely make this look come together by using things that you already have. The idea with this one is to just play around, be creative, and have fun with it. For this next look, I wanted to use the 80s as an inspiration, and I did that by using really bright neon colors. The look for this that I was trying to create is an 80s inspired workout expert, a workout instructor, I don't really know what you want to call it, but 80s style workout. So of course I had to bust out the fanny pack and I think that that really added a different element to this costume that stepped up its game and made it a little bit more unique. I finished the look off with some Converse and of course you can use really any sneaker that you have in your closet. And overall I would say this is probably the most comfortable costume that I created because I'm wearing leggings, I'm wearing flat shoes, and it's just really comfortable. For this next look, I wanted to feel very confident and very sexy, so that is why I pulled out this black bathing suit from my closet. As you can see here, I'm topping it off with some cat ears, so I'm a cat or a cheetah, whatever you want to call me. I'm a feline, I guess. So this look is probably the most simple one that I created, but in my opinion, it's my favorite. I really like the way it looks, and um, I might rock this on Halloween. So for this, you only really needed three pieces, which were the ears, the bathing suit, and the knee-high boots. And here is the final look. I'm absolutely in love with it. I never in the past had enough confidence to rock something like this on Halloween, so this year I might just do it because if you feel good and look good, you can literally rock anything, so go for it, girl. For this next look, I wanted to be an army girl. Now obviously you can't really rock this while you're in the army, but on Halloween, you can rock it and pretend like you are. I accessorized with a black bandana because it was already in my closet and I felt like it would really add to this costume. And of course, I finished it off with some black booties. To add another element to this outfit, I added this camouflage jacket. And this, of course, is optional. You can just go out without wearing the jacket and you look like an army girl. But if you wanted to add that extra element, a camouflage jacket definitely does the trick. For this next look, I wanted to go for the idea of a circus ringleader. I had this red and white striped top in my closet and I decided to go from there and create a look inspired by it. I accessorized with some gold jewelry and jewelry that had black accents in it as well. Your accessories can mean the world of a difference in your Halloween costumes in order to just make the outfit come together. Definitely accessorize. Use your makeup and your hair to your advantage and just use what you can to create the most perfect look. So here it is. I love it. It's very flirty and cute. So I can't wait to rock this. This next look is all about the 70s. I wanted to use a top that was somewhat bright, but a little bit toned down. 
so that's why I pulled this top from my closet. I also pulled these funky jeans that I had in my closet, but if you have some flare jeans or bell bottoms, those will work perfect. I also accessorized with this floral piece that I really think added to the 70s look and brought the whole outfit together. And it wouldn't be the 70s without a floral crown. And I had this previously in my closet from about three or four years ago when flower crowns were all the rage. So if you have this in your closet, you can create an entire look around just the crown. And to add even more flair to this outfit, I added some glasses that I can clearly see through because I'll most likely be using them at night and they match the flower crown really well so it turned out really nice and for the shoes I just decided to do a simple pair of brown wooden sandals because they're comfortable and they really go with the outfit. So here it is, all put together and completed. I really love the way this turned out and it's actually pretty comfortable, so I'm really happy with it. And there you have it. Those were some DIY and just really easy costume ideas that I was able to think of using things right from my closet. Halloween costumes can be really overpriced and really expensive and hopefully this video will save you some money, save you some stress, and hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully you guys found this video helpful and useful, and hopefully I inspired some of your future Halloween costumes. If you guys did like this video, don't forget to give it a big old thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, because I have a lot more coming your way, and I don't want you to miss it. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.